We now turn to motorsports. The Automobile Association Philippines held the 21st Motorsports Awards during the Manila International Auto Show this month. AAP honored the country's top racers in different categories such as circuit, karting, slalom, drag, and hill climb in a program held at the Philippine Trade Training Center in Pasay City. AAP President Gus Lagman, Motorsports Committee Chairperson Armando Eduque, presented the awards. Lagman stressed the importance of the event as well as the objective of AAP in the Philippines. We take the opportunity to also thank all those who support um, motorsports in the country, including, of course, the marshals, uh, the mechanics. You know, so we would like to be able to uh, thank them uh, because without them, uh, we won't have races. We're celebrating our 85th anniversary this year and uh, we're very happy that we got this far. Um, but we, we, we do have, aside from motorsports, as you know, we are also a, a big promoter of mobility in the country, which includes uh, road safety, which is our main number one advocacy. Meantime, Eduque gave us a quick background on how the Motorsports Awards started. AAP supervises motorsports in the country and that includes karting, it includes circuit, it includes drag racing, it includes slalom. There's a whole bunch of disciplines. You know? And 21 years ago, we decided that many of the people who compete in motorsports do so purely for love of the sport. You know, there's no financial rewards. Eh? They spend a lot of money, spend a lot of time, and at the end of the year, no recognition, right? Diba? So we decided to hold an awards night. Every year, we honor those who did well in those various disciplines. It is always great to be a good driver, but the AAP officials also shared with us tips on how to prevent road accidents in the country. For all those drivers out there, uh, we would like to encourage them uh, to practice road courtesy on our roads, uh, look for ways by which we can help uh, the government in solving the uh, traffic problem. Uh, and actually, if we're more courteous in our roads, uh, traffic will be, will be lighter. My advice to them is do it the right way. Learn the fundamentals learn the basics of the event that you're going to enter before you actually get behind the wheel. Because there's two ways to learn. One is through experience, one is through learning um, from, from, a, from somebody who knows. The learning by experience can be very painful, can be very expensive, and it's not the way to go.
What a nice uh, cove uh, right here on Sumilon Island and uh, hopefully we'll be able to go on a canoeing activity later on in the day. And uh, on the right side, on my right, is of course a view of uh, the sea and uh, of course uh, the waves are a little bit uh, rough at this time of the day but still it offers uh, a lot of uh, refreshing uh, and a different uh, view from uh, what we always see in the congested uh, urban Metro Manila. We would like to thank Kia Philippines for inviting us to take part in this exploration of the Negros provinces, Oriental and Occidental, and also Cebu. And uh, we certainly enjoyed the drive around the two Negros provinces. And of course, this uh, boat trip to Sumilon Island. Until next week, at the same time here on Auto Review, this is Ron Delosay saying thank you for joining us. Drive safely all the time. We'll see you next week. Maraming salamat po.